Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna test the best tennis balls. I'm gonna tell you which ones you should consider buying. And some of you might have a tennis shop in your area, but a lot of you don't. And what does everybody have close to them in the United States? It's Walmart. So it turns out that Walmart has the best selection of tennis balls compared to other stores. So you take a look here, there is a good selection of balls. So let's see what I'm gonna buy. These are the balls that I used to teach with. We're gonna get a can of these. Now, one tip I can give you is you always wanna push on the can because some cans are deflated and the balls inside are dead. So always check uh, the can and make sure it's pressurized properly. So we're gonna get a, a can of Pencoach. We're gonna get these super cheap balls here called Athletic. This one, for example, has no pressure in it. So this is a bad can. Okay, this one's good. Then we're gonna get the Wilson Titanium All Quartz. And here we're gonna get one extra duty pen and one regular duty uh, pen championship ball. Here we have a can of Wilson Championship regular duty and here we have a Wilson Championship extra lange haltbarkeit. What is this? It's in German and this can is dead for example. This one's pressurized and then most importantly here only one can left. A lot of people buy this ball. Look at the price. 648 for a can of Wilson US Open balls and we're going to be testing these as well. Now some balls are specified as extra duty or regular duty and generally when you talk about extra duty balls those are the ones that you want to use on a hard court because the hard court itself is going to eat the ball up more than a clay court so regular duty would be for a clay court surface but how about the wall this is the ultimate test for a tennis ball so what I'm going to do with each one of these balls. I'm going to hit the ball as hard as possible against the wall for about five minutes and let's see how the ball holds up. So we're going to start with the cheap ball. I already forgot the name, Athletic Works or something. And I'm going to hit this thing as hard as I can for five minutes. And I actually don't think it's going to survive. Let's see. So on the right side of the screen is the ball that I just hit against the wall with. On the left side is the new ball. And if you take a look, you can see that the ball is used up. As I was hitting with it, the ball started bouncing slower and slower, so it was losing in pressure. And you can even tell, look how far I can squeeze it. This was a brand new ball about five minutes ago compared to the brand new one. This one I can squeeze far less. So the verdict is, do not buy the cheapest ball that you can find at Walmart or any other store. If it's a name that you don't recognize it's safe to say that this is a super low quality ball and the fact that you can save a little bit of money on these balls it's not going to matter because you're going to toss them after a half hour of playing and even that half hour in itself is going to be a very poor performance from the balls okay next up we have the wilson regular duty championship ball let's compare the wilson championship regular duty ball after five minutes on the wall versus brand new out of the can you can see there's some deterioration there I can tell you that this ball is a lot springier a lot livelier and I felt a lot less control in the very beginning of course as I was hitting the control became easier because this ball started losing some pressure but overall for me this ball does not have enough felt on it I feel like control and durability might be a problem okay now we're going to test the Wilson championship extra duty ball So my first impression of the Wilson Championship Extra Duty is that there was more felt on the ball. I felt more control in the beginning. When the ball was brand new, the ball wasn't spraying as much, which leads me to the belief that this ball is generally a slower ball compared to the regular duty one, which also could translate into more durability. Okay, now it's time to test the Wilson Titanium All Court. Wilson Titanium All Court, so far the second worst ball that I tested. The one on the right is the one that I just hit with. And while this ball might be durable, it might work in a ball machine or in a teaching basket, the playability of this ball is very poor. It has very little felt on it, so the ball is definitely too small and too difficult to grip, and it is not a ball that I recommend. Now it's time to test the Pen Coach Ball, which is the ball that I used back in the day for teaching. It was really good. Then it got really bad. I haven't tried it in a while. Maybe it's good again. <coughs> On the right, we have the pen coach that I just hit with. And I can tell you that this ball 
is deteriorating very quickly. If I squeeze the left one, it's still got good pressure, but when I squeeze the right one, this ball has already lost a significant amount of pressure. So unfortunately, I have to report to you that the pen coach ball has not been improved. Now we're testing the pen championship regular duty ball. And the regular duty always has red lettering while the extra duty has black lettering. So the pen championship regular duty is a pretty nice ball actually. The playability is nice. The ball did lose some pressure, so durability might be a problem. The ball is neither fast or slow. It's in a medium range. The concern is that with its durability not being the greatest, these balls might go dead pretty fast. Now we're going to test the pen championship extra duty. I have a lot of experience with the Penn Championship Extra Duty Ball. I've been using it for many years. Now, I'm not sponsored by this ball or anything like that, but I can tell you that this is a ball that performs really well. It is not the most durable ball, but you can see that the one on the right is the one I just hit with. It is in pretty good shape. When I press on it, it's deflated a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, but a far less amount than the regular duty version. Just like the regular duty, this is not the fastest ball nor the slowest, it's somewhere in the mid range, but it's got the perfect amount of felt on it. It's not too much. So in other words, this ball will not fluff up like some others, but it's also not barren like some other balls that become so small with very little felt on it. So this ball has decent durability, good playability. It is definitely a ball that you can buy. Now on top of all that, there's also a ball that's more inexpensive compared to other brands. And finally, let's test the most expensive ball that I bought from Walmart, the Wilson US Open. All right, the Wilson US Open, the playability is very nice. The ball is in the mid range as far as speed, but the big problem is the fuzz. Just take a look at how much bigger the ball on the right is compared to the brand new one. And that exactly is the issue with a professional level ball. These balls fluff up very quickly. And of course, when the ball fluffs up, it becomes slower and slower. So the durability of this ball might not necessarily be affected because when I push on it, the ball still has a good amount of pressure compared to the brand new one. But the number one issue is that this ball, the more you play with it, the bigger it's gonna get. Okay, now I'm gonna rank these balls in the top three. And the third best ball that I tried is the Penn Championship Regular Duty. Now at number two, I'm gonna put the Wilson US Open. And the only reason why I'm not putting it at number one is the following. If you have the funds to exchange these balls after every set, then this ball is gonna be ranked number one but if you're going to play a full match two three sets with this ball or if you want to play multiple matches with this ball i don't recommend that you do so the ball is going to keep getting bigger it's going to feel as if you're hitting a soccer ball out there so out of all these balls that i've tried the number one is the pen championship extra duty while its playability is slightly less compared to the wilson us open it's got far greater durability and you really can't go wrong when you buy this ball for its price. Now, of course, there are many other brands out there, tennis balls that you can purchase online, and it might be even better balls than the ones I tested in today's video. But you see that you can make a quick trip to Walmart and get yourself some quality cans of tennis balls.